Trump is appealing the Maine Secretary of State's decision to boot the former president from the 2024 ballot. And while Dems trying to stop Americans from voting for Trump, President Biden is promising to have a pulse. That's the biggest one right now. Oh, boy. But his re-election prospects are a different matter. Popular radio host Charlemagne the God says he has no plans to throw his support behind the big guy's re-election. He just said, quote, in 2024, it's a race between the cowards, the crooks, and the couch, which is referring to Biden, Trump, and the option to stay home. The God also feels particularly burned by Kamala and added this, quote, I learned my lesson from doing that once they got in the White House. She kind of disappeared. All right, I'm going to go to you, Jessica. Seems to, is this the canary in a coal mine moment? Is this a, is this a warning that he's trying to give to the president that uh, you can no longer take the black vote for granted? It is, though it's quite regular mm -hmm. that he does this, which I, I think is a service to Democrats um, to just say, and this especially pertains to uh, the black male vote, not so much black women, um, but black men have been expressing this certainly through the Trump era and when Biden was running in 2020, that it just wasn't that exciting to them. And they have unleashed campaigns. They did the whole barbershop tour, which ended up being successful and, and President Biden was obviously elected, um, but it is a concern. And there was a poll out today that showed a staggering loss amongst black voters down into the low 60s. Now, I don't think that anyone who's being an honest broker about that thinks that Biden is going to end up losing 20 percent of the black vote off of what he got. But it's certainly a concern. The disappointment with Kamala is something that I understand. Um, but I do wonder if there are any vice presidents out there where people were like particularly jazzed about or thought like, I, I love this guy. I mean, Joe Biden, when you think back to his eight years as vice president, the real kind of shining star example of what he got done was getting gay marriage passed. That was his portfolio that he was going to be part of the lobbying effort. It was a huge moment for the country um, and for the party. But Kamala Harris has been put in charge, yes, I know the border, but also in terms of the messaging about the Dobbs decision and getting out the youth vote. And that's been hugely successful. We've won all of these ballot referendums. There was huge turnout in the 2022 midterms, and the expectation is that that will keep up. So I don't know if knocking her in that way is the necessarily The Dobbs decision what... was a gift. Kamala, you didn't need Kamala to do that. Well, let's even... be honest. Come on, Jessica. <laughs> Stop lying. I, I, kidding. Okay. <laughs> that 2024 humor. Yes. Yeah. Jesse, uh, this was interesting. He also said uh, he's not looking for his politics to be pure, right? And I think what he's getting at is that the purity goals of, of the Democrats keeps the goalposts moving so you never know what's right or what's wrong anymore. What say you, man, with the golden hair? <laughs> the thank you. <laughs> We don't, on the Republican side, always need purity either. Sometimes the most staunch conservative politicians don't end up winning. That's why Trump was so successful, because he was a little flexible in terms of his approach to different issues. But think about how hard it is to disappear as Joe Biden's vice president. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Biden has disappeared. <laughs> That means you are seen and heard from less than the president that we never see or hear from. Uh, he's away from the White House in Delaware 30 percent of the time. All she needs to do is maybe once every other week make noise. Mm -hmm. And every time she does make noise, no one understands a word she says. <laughs> That's the point. She was supposed to be cool. Remember, she wore her little sneakers, all stars yes. with the pantsuit. She liked Tupac. She turned out to be some insecure goofball who just runs away from crisis after crisis. But the fact that he's losing his base, blacks, Hispanics, young voters, it's time to pander, Greg. Yeah. That means Biden's going to come out with the Despacito. Jill is going to call the enchiladas again. They'll probably make Kamala 
Grab Hillary's hot sauce, put that in her purse. It's going to be fun that to watch. That was legitimate. She does carry She hot does sauce. not yes, carry does. hot sauce. Mm. Fact check, by the way, oh. I was right about Tiffany Amber Thiessen. But she did appear on 902. <laughs> she did, but he did think she was Shannon Doherty. True, also okay. true. <laughs> judge, judge, the weird thing about Charlemagne's beef is that it's not about crime or the economy or inflation or gender policy or division. It's not enough Kamala. But does, does he need Kamala? All of these issues are you very know, left wing. That's really a great point. You have to say, you know what? You should be more worried about <laughs> Joe because Joe's the one who said to you, if you have to think about me or Trump, then you ain't black. Mm -hmm. I'd still be carrying that ship from four years ago. But he says that, that people who rely on his take because he says he's neither Democrat nor Republican are coming back and saying, you know what? We relied on you. We, we, we expected more because you said this. And here's the bottom line. He now is is in, in, in position where he doesn't speak for anybody, all right, because no one is buying what he said. Mm. And so he's lost credibility, and that's what that's about. And look, 71% of the country thinks that uh, the country's in, going in the wrong direction, and 71% of people in swing, swing states think he's too old. And here's where the problem is with the black voters. If he loses by uh, 0.9 of 1% in Georgia, which is a swing state of black voters, he loses Georgia, yep. which he needs. Mm. So those numbers right now, 20 points of blacks, 87 to 63, he dropped 24 points. You may not believe that that's how it's going to end up, but it just takes a sliver for him to lose a swing state. And the amazing part of this is that Biden had the benefit of abortion, he has the benefit of climate change, and yet young people in this country are not into him. They'd rather vote for Trump. Trump is no, ahead of, of Biden when it comes to young people. It's clear. The young people, 37 percent Trump, 33 Biden. So, I mean, for all the gifts he's had, he still is a mess. He's just too old. Even his wife had to remind him, Jill had to tell him your favorite food is ice cream. Mm. Really? You know, Dana, I, it, once the media maybe accepts the fact that Biden's still going to run, are they going to have to reverse gears and now push all this good news? Like, before, but, but before they were okay with the bad news, because they figured maybe that would get Joe out, but now Joe might stick. So now they're going to say, crime's down. Uh, illegal immigration is down. Everybody's going to sound like a Republican. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It could be. I mean, I'm just waiting for Claudine Gay to come out with a statement that says <laughs> Charlemagne the God is a sexist and a racist. <laughs> because imagine if in a colorblind test, mm -hmm. somebody said this and it turned out it was, you know, you're Jesse. What do you think would, would be the reaction? Mm. So but the those calls are coming from within the Democratic Party. I know that we look at a lot of polls, but I like anecdotes as well. A young producer from America's Newsroom is home for the holidays. She has friends that vote Democrat, and they said that they are not going to vote for Biden-Harris because they want to punish the DNC. Mm -hmm. So what you might have happen is a coalescing from the media and social media and maybe somebody like a Taylor Swift that says, look, they might not be perfect, but it's better than the alternative, and that would be the hope that they go into. Uh, to the judge's point about the margins for Georgia, Carl Rove today on America's Newsroom, and you can find this on the Twitter page, we call it, or X, X page for a newsroom. He went through, the margins are so small for President Biden that he could lose all the swing states with just a little sliver of these other voters, blacks, Hispanics, and youth in Arizona, Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and, of course, Georgia. There you go. Shouldn't somebody point out to Charlemagne the typo and the... Because, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. You're an adult. At this point. It's an article. Yeah. <laughs> Just three letters. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.